sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana. Grace and peace be with you in Jesus, the risen Christ. Hello friends, greetings from Lambeth again. It's my pleasure to introduce a sister in Christ who serves as bishop here in the Church of England. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Vicentia Kabe. I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Lesotho in Southern Africa. Um, Lesotho is known as the Mountain Kingdom or the Kingdom in the Sky because it is just beautiful mountains. Um, and if you want to know, that's the only place I think in the Southern Africa where you can ski. We have a ski resort because you get snow uh, in our winter. Um, so I've been Bishop for seven months. Um, so it's a joy to be called to this ministry. You, you had the privilege and challenge of preaching today uh, at the opening Eucharist of the Lambeth Conference, and I want to say how grateful I was. I had a, I had a choice seat to, to listen to you, and uh, calling us to remember that we're called to be hospitable uh, and and servants. That we're servants, and and part of that service means that we be hospitable. Um, and in light of that. We just finished having, a, 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 I think, an important and intense conversation around the second Lambeth call uh, focused on safe guardians and safe church. Uh, what were your sort of reflections on our time together this afternoon? All right. For me, I would take it a little bit back when the church started talking about safe church. It sounded very strange that we're talking about a church and regulating that in a safe space. Should it be a safe space? Yes. So I had a problem with that you for a little while. You should assume that it would be. Safe. Yes. And to see what are we seeing, what is going on, that we now need to regulate. That everyone who worships or enters space or prays here has to be safe from us. Um, so it has been one of those challenging things for me. So today I took more of an observer scene because I'm still struggling with that when we put more laws when we legislate more. So that means in the past few years, nothing has gotten better. It's gotten worse. Um, but what has struck me was one of the presenters who said, we have forgotten about the children. I suspect it started with children. And here we are, we're now talking about creating spaces for adults in our church. Um, so that's very interesting for me. And, and it, I'm wrestling with that uh, to say, what kind of a church and what kind of a church are we going to be? It, it also calls us to pay attention to the fact that not all provinces in the Anglican community have access to background checks or histories of, of what persons have done perhaps in another context who may want to come and serve in your diocese yes. or the diocese that I serve. So attention paid to also background checks as well as uh, formation yes. as part of that process and seminar yes. formation. So but at the end of the day, we, we had a time of, of silence that, that sort of gave our consent that we thought most mostly this was going in the right direction, as Justin Lowe said. Yes. But there continues to need to be worked on that, right? That is, that is true. Um, I think the silence was again the silence of confusion for some. Uh, in that and say what direction are we, what are we working on? Um, and I think listening to another presenter who said, when we talk of ministry, remember it's not only the date. What about lay people? So that too, I think, needs to be a good fact. Um, about background checks, uh, how do we deal with our volunteers? Because the church survives on volunteers. We need to ask a lot from people who just want to give us two hours of their time. Um, so those are the things that I hope that we start looking into um, and, and I think getting our act right so that when we continue to meet in general synods, in provincial meetings and things, that we scrape a little more because we can better rather than anything. Yeah. Well, thank you so, so very much for this time in the midst of the My friends, uh, here's just another wonderful person who makes up part of the anchor. Ministry in this particular way. Grace and peace be with you.